so we're all using Zoom, Skype, Teams a lot at the moment to talk to each other. Um, I wanted to show a very easy way to create uh, a chat room, 3D chat room, that requires no additional software apart, apart from the browser um, and can be embedded in the VLE as a nice alternative to some of these things we're using at the moment that all require different bits of software. Um, it's very quick to do, it takes about 2-3 minutes if you want a basic room. If you want to uh, change it so it suits you a bit more, change the backgrounds or whatever, it can take a bit longer. But I'm just going to go through the very quick version now. So first, all you need to do is have your VLE or web page or website or whatever. It works in any web page. Uh, and of course, and you need some kind of page or whatever the, the alternative is in blackboard or canvas or moodle so we call pages in canvas this is canvas uh, you can click new page I'm going to use an existing page called VR and you want to click edit uh, and then you want to click raw HTML view uh, I've already done this before but this will be blank so now you've got a page and you're editing the HTML and you want to put your chat room in there so now we want to create a new chat room so we're going to use what's called Mozilla Hubs so search for Mozilla M-O-Z-I-L-L-A -L -L -A, space H-U-B-S and f first hit for me and it's very simple there's just a big button that says create room click create room so there's two things we've got now. We have got a web page. I'm in the HTML view, HTML editor. Um, this is in Canvas, but it could be in Moodle, Blackboard. Although I don't know if they call them pages, they might call them something different in those VLEs. Um, or it could be in WordPress, or it could just be a HTML document, whatever. And now you've got a chat room in my other tab, uh, a Mozilla Hubs chat room. This is the default view. You can change it if you want, but that takes a bit longer. Uh, what we want to do is then embed this in the page we've got. So I'll click share. And there's different ways to share the room. We want this one at the bottom. Uh, just by clicking that, it will, I believe, uh, copy it to the cl the the um, the clipboard. Then go back to your HTML and paste it in. So paste it here and click save or save and publish. And then this is the page. So y you just want to direct your students here and this is what they'll see, the same as you. Um, delectable big room. Um, you can change that name, you just need to change it on this tab just by clicking the name but you'll need to sign in to change it uh, so when they come here and they've clicked load room just click enter room change your name my name's going to be Bob pick the avatar you'd like that'll do Uh, you can choose how you want to enter. I'm going to enter on the screen. We've got a VR headset that'll work. Uh, you can set up your mic. Uh, pick which mic you want. And I'm in. And then as other people join, you'll see them approach. So uh, there's someone else. Um, they're moving about at the moment and you can do lots of cool things so you can show your screen you can write on the walls you can add new objects what's this one do? oh you can search for objects and add them so I've added a car it's kinda cool uh, what else can you do? oh there's David what's he doing? he's going to add a fish tank I believe yeah and so 
it's just a cool alternative quite easy to do if you want to start adding your own um, stuff uh, to the shape of the room like maybe you don't want an island maybe you want a classroom to make it a bit more school feel you want to search for sp Mozilla Spokes so I search for Spoke Mozilla if you click it you just sign in um, by clicking login uh, I don't think it ever actually asks you for a password I think you just click login and then yeah it sends you a login to your email and it lets you pick from all these different rooms and stuff I'll save that for another video um, yeah so it's very easy